Madgab, how to play. The object of the game is to be the first team to reach 25 points by completing puzzles. Divide into two teams. Place the flipper, timer, and card box on the table. The cards are color-coded. The blue side is for beginners, and the orange side is for experts. Begin by playing with the blue side. Pick one team to be the solving team first. We'll call them Team 1. That team picks one player to be the coach, while the other team, Team 2, chooses one of their players to be the stealer. A different coach and stealer must be picked each turn. Team 2 draws three cards from the draw end of the box, keeps them hidden from Team 1 and the stealer, and places them in the flipper in the order they were drawn, facing away one card in each slot. The answer for each card is written on the reverse side in the top right. Once Team 2 familiarizes themselves with the answers, then they place the flipper face down on the table and pass it to the coach. The coach faces the rest of their team, and the timer is turned to average. The coach flips up the cards, and the timer starts. Team 1 has to now figure out what common phrase the puzzle is saying and say it out loud. The coach's job is to read the answer silently to themselves, then help point their team towards the correct answer by encouraging them to emphasize certain syllables, change the speed at which they read it, or to listen to a particular player who is closest to the answer. The coach may not give clues or hints regarding the answer. Team 2 must remain quiet during this time, and they are the judge to determine if someone is intentionally saying the correct phrase or accidentally saying it. Once someone on Team 1 intentionally says the phrase correctly, then the coach removes the top card and reveals the next card. At any point during their time, any player on Team 1 may say pass to permanently skip the card and discard it. It may not be returned to later, even if there is time remaining. If the time runs out, then the team may not score any more cards. The stealer now has 10 seconds to guess the answer to any of the unguessed cards. The stealer is allowed to look at whatever card is face up in the flipper, but if a card was passed, then the stealer must come up with an answer from memory. After the 10 seconds, the round ends. The coach's team scores one point for each correct card guessed. The opposing team scores one point for each card guessed by the stealer. Return the cards to the discard side of the box, and teams alternate rolls and a new round is played. Play continues until one team reaches 25 points. Then that team is the winner.